Hey everybody, so for some breaking news as of about um, half hour ago as far as when I'm recording this, um, Ilya Kovalchuk has made his decision. Um, it was said that um, Kovalchuk was down to four finalists, four teams that he was going to sign with. They were Boston, Los Angeles, San Jose, or Vegas. And uh, he has made his decision and signed a three-year deal worth $6.25 million per season with the Los Angeles Kings. So, um, obviously, this is not a surprise. The Kings were one of the teams really heavily into this and who really, really wanted Kovalchuk badly. Um, the expected contract was three years around $6 million per, so right on par with that, a little bit more. Um, I'm sure that the Kings... You know, want, we're willing to go up that another quarter of a million just uh, to sweeten the deal a bit. It was rumored that um, Kovalchuk wanted L.A., that he wanted to play in that city. He wanted to be a Los Angeles king. So um, I'm sure he thought long and hard about it and you know went throughout the pros and cons of all four teams that he was uh, looking at. But L.A. is the team. And this is a huge boost for the Los Angeles Kings. I know Kovalchuk's 35, but he is still a very high-level goal scorer. Um, he was an absolute beast when he was in the NHL. He hasn't really slowed down much in Russia, um, obviously playing against much lesser competition in the KHL than in the NHL. But um, he put up a ton of points there. He had a great Olympics this past year, although there were no NHL players in the Olympics. So it was, you know, it w would have been interesting to see how he would have done had he been playing against NHL competition. But um, still, I feel like he can easily be a 25 goal scorer. Um, he, he's 35, isn't you know? It's not like he's 40, and it's only a three-year deal. So um, I think this is a really good deal for the Kings and they desperately needed goal scoring um, obviously we saw that last year especially in the playoffs when they could barely score a goal against the Vegas Golden Knights in the first round they got swept out because they couldn't score um, they absolutely had to do something about goal scoring at this uh, this offseason and they have done that, and they may not be done yet. Um, there's still holes on that team. There are still areas that they need to improve. If they're going to be a cup contending team, but this is a huge boost for them. They now have a solid goal scoring winger who can play uh, top six minutes with the likes of Andre Kopitar, Dustin Brown, and Jeff Carter, Tanner Pearson, Tyler Toffoli. However, they put those lines together. They have a you know another. They have a serious scoring threat in their top six now, um, and I look for him to score at least twenty five goals next year. Um, anything less, I think, would be a disappointment. Um, you know, it was rumored that the Kings Kovalchuk was their A plan. Their B plan was trading for Max Pacioretty out of Montreal. But um, they really wanted Kovalchuk. He was their target, and now they've got him. So we'll see how he does. We'll see how the Kings do with him. But uh, they got their guy, and um, you know, good good for the Kings. And you know that this obviously helps improve a major, major weakness with this team and in, in, in offense and goal scoring. And um, we'll we'll just have to wait and see how Kovalchuk performs. He hasn't played in the NHL since 2013. But I, he, he was such a beast when he was in the NHL, and he, he's really been r good in Russia. So, I, I mean, he's not going to be the same player he was when he was, you know, 28, 29. But I still think he can be a valuable offensive player on the power play, five on five. Um, he's, he's a big winger. He goes to the net. He's not afraid to go to the dirty areas. He's got, obviously got a ton of skill. And I can still see him scoring 25-plus goals in the NHL. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. But uh, Kovalchuk to the LA Kings, three years, $6.25 million per. Let me know what you think of the contract in the um, comments below. Do you think this is a good fit? I obviously do. Kings really need a goal scoring. 
is Kovalchuk going to perform at the level that we all think he's going to, or some of us think he's going to? The Kings certainly think he's going to. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about all of this. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, keep spreading the word about this channel. Been stagnant now at just over 200 subscribers. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.